So, you clicked on this video because you were interested in psychedelics. So, let's take a little recap. Now, I myself am not incredibly versed in the area of psychedelics, but from my limited knowledge, there's substances that can alter a way a person thinks. Often, it's said many of those who experience taking psychedelics can experience intense hallucinations, something like this. I know, pretty intense, right? But the question is, I started to wonder why people took these substances. Did they get a feeling of high or altered conscious, like when drinking alcohol or perhaps smoking marijuana? Well, in a clinical setting, these psychedelic substances are used for treating illnesses such as addiction, depression, anxiety, and PTSD. Before we got into the video, uh, I just wanted to say Happy New Year's to everybody. Uh, I'm incredibly excited to push forward with this channel this year. Um, I actually created my first video last year, uh, end of last year. So roll the clip real quick. All right, YouTube. Uh, damn, man, I guess I finally pulled the trigger on this. Uh, actually made it channel. End of flashback. So just like all of you guys, I'm not very well versed, as I said, in the area of psychedelics, um, but I have done a lot of research on it, so I do know quite a handful of things. Today we're going to be reacting to a video by uh, the channel called Big Think. They have an expert called Matthew Johnson, uh, who's going to break down psychedelics in under six minutes, uh, because most of us are just curious about it, but they, we don't want a full hour long um, you know, documentary going on. So uh, I believe this will be a good six minute video that's going to help us really understand what psychedelics really are, what they do, and you know, why people take them. Okay, let's get straight into it. Every psychological experience beard. has a biological correlate. Cool These are two sides Ooh, of the same. I like coin. the visuals too. You see the color green. There's something happening in your brain that's coding that experience of the color green. So with psychedelics, the biggest divide is whether we're talking about Okay, so right there, he just listed off a bunch of, well, there was a bunch of psychedelics just listed on the screen, right? So we saw psilocybin, LSD, MDMA, DMT, so a bunch of those. Um, and like I just said, these are just a bunch of common psychedelics that are really used amongst people. So, you know, let's just see further if it goes on the psychological areas. side or the biological I doubt he will. side he'll probably just go generally does it well. work by hitting these brain receptors and then having other effects or does it work because of the experience clearly there's this very real biological effect something dramatic happens to the brain when you put the psychedelic in the system but then someone has this experience and when they change their life because of that that ends up sounding more like they went through a really good course of psychotherapy so psychedelics are re the crazy thing, um, like Matthew Johnson just said, is that when people take psychedelics, um, more commonly, you'll really see them really change their behavior. So, for example, if somebody was very anxious or had anxiety or was dealing with that type of thing after, you know, going through a trip with psychedelics, you may see them more like prone to actually talking to people, communicating without having those anxious attacks. Um, and also a lot of tendencies actually do change. Um, for example, like if you were someone that was, you know, like me, like sleeps through the day and you don't know, just waste up random times like late in the day, um, you might actually become an early person because it alters our brain chemistry. Um, and, you know, we'll see more of what Matthew's saying here really interesting at that bridge between the biological and the psychological. Explain it like I'm smart. <laughs> what psychedelic means from its linguistic roots is mind manifesting. The idea mind that these are mind manifesting 
That's consistent with this other notion that these are non-specific amplifiers. In other words, you could have a euphoric experience, you could have a hellish experience. Also, terminology is so difficult in this area. I like what he said there. He said it could be, a, it's more of a mind amplifier. So basically what we see is, what I've noticed and what I've seen through my research is when people take psychedelics, not only do their tendencies change, but when they have those trips, um, like Matthew was saying, they could have a hellish trip, you could have a euphoric trip. It's really amplifying your feelings, you know, your subconscious feelings. So for example, if I were to go into a trip feeling, you know, very anxious or like feeling in a very bad state of mind, my trip may result in a hellish experience. So like Matthew said, it's amplifying our feelings, our subconscious, and it's just crazy to see what psychedelics can do with our emotions, how it can control us, um, and how it can alter our brain chemistry. So let's keep going. Yeah. Psychedelic can be used to refer to what are called the classic psychedelic compounds, psilocybin, which is in magic psilocybin. mushrooms, LSD. Right, so I guess he's DMT, just di diving in into what we were saying before. Mescaline, which is in cool. So these are all the Those are the classic found. psychedelics. They affect a particular type of serotonin receptor, and that's their primary mechanism of action. But then you have other drugs that I think it's appropriate to call them psychedelic. Other scientists will disagree. Okay. So, so for even example, within MDMA the psychedelic field, there, there, there work by releasing people who are experts serotonin. in psychedelics. There's so a lot of different mechanisms. And you have other drugs such as ketamine and not. PCP. So, he's do, he's so that affects the glutamate PCP system ketamine. in the brain primarily rather than the serotonin system. So what does psychedelic mean then if it refers to multiple pharmacological classes of drugs that work in different ways? And the answer for me is that these are all drugs that can have a profound effect on one's sense of reality, including one's sense of self. Right. So the reason why you might not see marijuana or alcohol in here is because it's more of a long-term effect in the sense that it's actually, like he said, giving you, you know, a realization about yourself, a more profound um, effect in that um, you start to realize more things or you might change. It actually can result to a change in character or, we or well-being, um, which you don't really see as a long-term effect use of marijuana. It's more of a drastic change when using psychedelics, I would say. The huge question that's always thrown out is how do these psychedelics work? And you can just come at that from so many different angles. Now to go down that biological path, what's happening, there's a lot going on. For example, psilocybin, which people may know as the active agent in so-called magic, magic mushrooms. Magic mushrooms. Once it's circulating through or your shrooms. blood after you've eaten some of it, if it actually know, you know. <laughs> converts to a related compound called psilocin, which is the thing that's actually hitting the brain receptors. And it so activates in a subtype of serotonin that compound, receptor. So we have lots of different types said, of serotonin and receptors. And those are the in ones that brain. attack the One receptor. is called the serotonin 2A receptor. And psilocybin and the other classic psychedelics can latch onto that the same way that our serotonin latches onto these brain receptors. So psilocybin affects serotonin, but then serotonin affects the glutamate system. And then at another level, you had this massive increase in communication across these different silos in the brain. That is probably an important level of analysis that is underlying at the psychological level, patients who have claims of insight, viewing themselves from a radically different perspective, from a different lens. And based I on can't animal research, they're also I just can't seems like there that. may How can you be increased neuroplasticity in the system so that in the days following I just can't understand experience, that. people are more primed and I'm not to invalidating learn new these things. people's like claims. I just greater ability like, to establish for myself, a new I can't and more optimal fathom normal that or comprehend state. How that would be. So but, there's seemed to really be something important you know, about the of nature stuff. of the experience. No, I'm not advocating for it, or I'm not during these sessions. Either. That's a quick disclaimer. It's not just well. about hitting a certain type of serotonin receptor in the brain. There's something about the psychology of the experience that unfolds during that session that tends to be important, which is in some sense what makes the psilocybin treatments a bit more like psychotherapy than traditional psychiatric medications where you just take the pill and just, you know, you forget it. 
there's some interacting reasons why the psychedelic renaissance is happening now. Our society has been in a mental health crisis. Very true. And it's been stagnating. Pharmaceutical companies don't make the investments in new mental health care treatments like they did decades ago. I mean, the best medical treatments that we have for many addictions are substitution treatments, also known as agonist treatments. I think these are good, but when you don't see success, I would say it's probably because they fail to get to the roots of these mental disorders, including addiction. Mm -hmm. and that's why I think psychedelics have been so successful. Nothing is gonna be a miracle cure for everyone. Nonetheless, they have so much promise and we have to have that balance. I think that's more possible today. So that's, I mean, that's the end of the video and definitely, you know, a great video. Um, and I completely agree with what he was saying at the end, um, where patients are just blindly taking medication um, and just trying to overcome whatever illness may be at hand, but they're not really getting at the root of the problem, I would say. So for example, when he referenced, um, you know, maybe an addict uh, or alcoholic, um, people are just taking intervention, interventions such as medications, but they're not really targeting the root because once they're off that medication, they're just gonna revert back to their same tendencies. Or when they ease off their medication, they're gonna revert back to their same tendencies. So what he's saying with psychedelics is it's more of a psychotherapy in that it actually gets at the root of the problem. It makes you realize more things. So if you, going back to the addict example, if you were to take psychedelics, I'm not necessarily saying this would happen, but if you were to take it, the theory is when you do take it, you could realize that, you know, the addictions that you had were maybe not good. You see things in a different light. And um, again, I might not, myself, I'm not an advocate for this, um, but I am someone who's very interested in this field and I would definitely see this being a treatment as it's more and more studied throughout the years. Um, and with that being said, like, I feel like there's a huge stigma with, you know, just psychedelics in general or any type of drugs. People don't do their research. They just look at it and they're like, it's a drug, I'm not touching it, or, you know, it's crazy. Um, but then there's on the flip side of that coin, there's a lot of people that actually do their research. And, um, I am someone who advocates for always looking into, like whatever you're prescribed, even if your doctor prescribes you something, I'm not saying don't trust them, but I would also just look into it. It's, you know, it doesn't harm you. It, it's good to know what you're getting into. Um, so yeah, so that's it, psychedelics. Um, if you guys like this video, you know, hit that thumbs up button, drop a comment, and you know, maybe we'll look more into specific types of psychedelics, like maybe DMT, if you guys are interested. Um, I know this is different from my last video with the reaction to uh, the Creed 3 trailer, um, but you know, I'm sp I'm spontaneous. I'm willing to, you know, whatever captures my eye, I'm going to react to it. Uh, I'm going to spread information that way. So uh, again, hope to see you guys soon. Uh, appreciate you guys for tuning into the video and we're going to get out a new banger soon. So appreciate that. See you soon. I kinda miss it. I was smoking on the weed to keep me tripping. I was abusing on your love to keep me living. Your love was confusing. It had me throwing all types of plays. That ass was moving. Had me fucking it all.